All right, so I'm in recap right now. This is an old school slash church that I scanned in the Northeast region of the country recently. It was scanned with an Leica, uh, Leica Geosystems RTC 360. And we scanned the inside and the interior and exterior. It was three floors, basement, everything you can see here. What we do is once we get it out of Register 360, which is the Leica software that you have to import it into from the scanner, we export it out to an RCP and we bring it into Recap. Once we get it into Recap, we do a little bit more organization. So what we do is we come in here and we actually go to scan locations and we break it down to all of these different things as you see, first floor, second floor, basement, exterior, stairs, everything like that. Now, each one of these is a separate project that we did in the field. So when we come in here and you can look at each floor, first floor, that was its own separate project. Second floor, that was its own separate project third floor, so on and so forth. The reason why this is important is on the back end when you're getting this into Revit, the end all be all, you know, deliverable. We're bringing it into Revit, we're gonna model off this point cloud. This file structure, this organization allows you or allows your customer and client to go into Revit and actually turn off these different floors. So if they're only modeling off the first floor, they don't have to worry about the exterior, the basement, all, this other, all these other points, and also it weighs it down. As you can see, we got it all we got it all together and registered here. And then I go up here and I save as, and I put it into a folder. The folder that I put it into is a recap or for recap folder. And as you can see, this scan is 54.5 gigs. Not the biggest, not the smallest. Most architectural or modeling computers can handle that just fine. But if this was a larger project where you're getting into the multiples of hundreds of, of gigs or terabytes even of data, we all know, or anybody on this video um, knows that that large of a file to bring into Revit is a nightmare. It takes forever. Everything's lagging. Everything's slow. It really, it really pushes your um, graphics card to the max. So what, we, what we're trying to do here, and this is the tip or the, the, the big one for you here is once I come in here and I have this all registered and I save it out as a full recap file, what I then do is I come in here and I start to turn off all these other projects, all these other floors, except for each individual project. So what I did here, the reason why you're getting some of the exterior on both the front and back of the building is because that was one of our, those were our multiple tie-in points to the exterior scans, but that's neither here nor there. That's another video. But what I do is each time I open up one floor, I come up here, I go to the import tab, but I don't click on it. I just hover over it and I come down to the export. I export each floor out to its own unified point cloud. What that does is it takes out all of these little photospheres that you see here in the scan and it really lightens the data set. So I do that for the first floor, turn it off, turn the second floor on, do the same thing. Turn that off. Third floor, come up here, same thing. Hover over, go to export, and I do this for each one. And then what I do is I come to, let's make it look like we got a point cloud here. Sorry about that. I actually close this project, open a brand new project, and name that project Unified Point Cloud or Unified, whatever you want to name the project. And what that does is you put all of these unified. You know, you put the unified first floor, second floor, you put all the pieces together and recap will automatically put it together as you see here. It'll put it all back together just as you see here. Once it's all together like this and looks good and it's all the unified, I'll show you here. It looks just the same. You just won't have the photospheres. So it's a lot lighter. You don't have all that data as my computer takes a second to open it up here, it's all still here. Point cloud is still all there, still just as dense. Everything's just the same. It just doesn't have the pictures. Here's the craziest thing. Once you come in here and save this out, you actually want to put it in a for Revit or Revit folder. Look at the difference. 11.2 gigs. That's the money maker right there is customers or even people that are scanning for their own firms and just using those point clouds and working on this, just this little organization will go a long way, 54 gigs all the way down to 11 gigs.
any computer can handle that just fine. The other great thing is with this file structure that I showed you here, you can actually go in there and turn off all these different things in Revit just the same. So if you're only working on the first floor, there you go. It's that per it's that it's that great. I did clean up some of the uh, the exterior uh, overlap that was kind of shooting out the back and the front. But regardless, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us here at ATG. We would love to show you how to do this. We can do projects for you. We can train you on these different workflows, everything and anything reality capture, we got you covered. So again, thank you for your time. Thanks for stopping by. And I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Goodbye. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel. 